We're going to be installing a front mount oil cooler from Racing Line Performance today on a Golf R. Let's see what we got in the box here. Now that we've got everything out of the packaging, looks like we've got oil filter here, internal, adapter. Here's the plate, oil cooler, bunch of nice bracketry, and the hoses. First, we're going to start by removing the wheels and the front bumper. <laughs> Now we're going to remove the oil filter housing. Now that we have the oil filter housing removed, we had to inspect this oil filter adapter and this vehicle being a 2015 R, uh, we had to update it to this part, which is here. It's also recommended on Racing Line's website to check all vehicles 2015 and down. Now we're going to start the assembly of the oil cooler and brackets. We're going to put these mounts onto the cooler. We're going to tighten these first because if you don't, you won't be able to after you put the side brackets on. Next, we're going to install the side brackets, like so. Install the bottom plate, matching the logo for the top. Tighten these up. Now we're going to attach the brackets that hold it to the car's rebar. Put a little bit of lubrication on the O-rings, install the adapter, spring up. We're going to do a sandwich adapter, 27 millimeter socket, put a little bit of sill glide on the O-ring, slide that up. Insert the adapter base. 
Wire harness is a little bit in the way, so I just push it back. Adapter nut is also 27 millimeter. And we're gonna final tighten this after we put the oil lines on and have the correct orientation. It should be faced about 30 degrees towards the front of the vehicle. Now we're gonna install the oil lines. We're gonna start by feeding it down between the frame rail and the AC compressor. Mount the front near the horn. Come around, I'm starting with the short line and that's gonna go to the rear of the sandwich adapter. Again, I use a little bit of sill glide on the O-rings. So they don't bind up when they seat. And at some point we'll get this snug down. And that one's seated. And now the longer line Gonna feed that down the same way. We're gonna come out near the horn. Hopefully, there it is. This is gonna go to the outlet port of the sandwich adapter. I found it was easier if I moved this coolant hose out of the way. There's two Torx bolts that hold it to the intake manifold. And I just braced it up out of the way a little bit so that I could get access to this longer line easier. Uh, these fittings are inch and a sixteenth or 27 millimeters. Uh, I put a little electrical tape on my wrench to try to save the fittings from getting damaged. Uh, this is probably something that you're going to see. So want to try to be careful with it when you're tightening these down. I can see the sandwich adapter is still moving. That's just because I didn't final torque it yet. Once I get these lines situated between the two oil sensors, I'll snug that down and then we'll put the oil filter back on. I'm going to transfer my measurements to the rebar. I already drilled one hole. I'm going to mark the second hole here. I go about a little bit underneath to there. That's fine. Four holes drilled, we're going to mount the oil cooler to the rebar. You might want to have some extra drill bits when you drill these because they can be pretty hard when they chew up drill bits. Now we're going to install the oil lines. Snug these up.
Get this one out. We're gonna install a line spacer. Finally, install the oil filter. Leaky boom boom down. So close to the belt. Oh yeah, it like just fits, man. Holy cow. Huh. Couldn't get much closer than that, Walter.